you live. Hi, I'm Laura with Three Thunk Jeff by Laura. Thanks for joining us for Thursday at three-ish. We are going to paint buffalo plaid today. I was so excited to figure this out because for some reason I couldn't wrap my brain around it. Read about a thousand tutorials and figured out what works for me. So that's what we're gonna show you. Let me, Katie hurt her foot so I'm not gonna make her walk. So if you'll give me the camera, I'm gonna show them our project over there. That way you don't, yeah. Katie hurt her foot. <clears throat> oh, don't look at all the mess. This is a work in progress because we're at the school. But here was, and I am shaking, but then I'll stop. So don't get dizzy or sick. Hey, Gretchen. And all right. Hey, Diane. Look how cute. Look how cute. And that was, hey, Tammy. That was um, uh, just a laminate table from the school. And then, hey, Sue, I'm trying to talk and read names at the same time. And then we painted chairs. Those are just those desk chairs that you find at a school. <laughs> hey, Patty. Um, Jamie. I did shower. That one's Flamingo. This one is Robin's Egg Blue. And this one is, hey, Amy. This one is Sweet Pea. So we still have a fourth one I'm going to do in Sunflower. But I love the way the table turned out. Really, 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 really cute. Okay, so I'm going to head back over. Don't look at anything. I should cover it all up. It's all a nasty mess. We're going to go over here, and we're going to do the buffalo plaid. Now, Katie, who can hardly stand, is going to take over again. <laughs> so first step, I did a couple steps. Hopefully, you'll. These are, these are real easy, and it doesn't matter that I already did them. First step is paint the whole thing your base color, which is usually some type of a white or... It's, it's, for me, it's been my lighter color when I've done it is. So I painted the whole thing cotton and then I put tape down for my stripes. You can do little bitty stripes. You can do big fat stripes, whatever works for you. And then I'm using driftwood. And so for my first coat of grays, I watered down, I didn't water down the driftwood. I added half cotton. That was my base color, half cotton to the driftwood. So it was light. You need three colors. You need your lightest color. And then your medium color, which that's my driftwood and cotton, which I'm using now. And then we'll use driftwood straight in just a few minutes. So there we have our first stripe set painted. I'm going to turn it on just so that dries. And I'll talk loud. I know people complain last week because they couldn't hear. But I'm going to dry this so I can show you what it looks like. Because then we got to retake. So I'm talking loud. Can you still hear? Can you still hear? All right, I'm going to start taking the tape off back here. If I was really, really, really going to do this for some fabulous fancy something or other, I would have marked where I taped because I ended with a little teeny skinny stripe, but we're going to ignore that for now. So, tape off. Okay, you like this part. It's fun. Okay, and my next stripe. And I'm using inch tape and I went with three pieces. So I got about three inches and I just eyeballed, but I got about three inches in my stripes. And the next one comes off. And the next one. Have any of you guys done Buffalo Plaid projects? I don't know why it has always seemed super tricky to me, but it's always seemed super tricky. I can't really do that one yet because I want this to dry. But I have found that for my first of the darker color, you know, my gray, and over there was Robin's Egg I used. For my first, I do two coats so I get a little bit fuller coverage. After that, I only use one coat because I don't really care about the fuller coverage because it kind of turns out rustic. So we have cotton and then we have striped with driftwood, half driftwood, half cotton because we wanted a lighter color there. Probably should not take the tape off yet, but I'm going to. If we mess up this side, it'll be because I rushed. It'll only mess it up if you put the tape over that wet spot. All right. Okay, so there is our first little step going on. I gotta wait for this to dry for a minute, and that's why if it peels up later, it's because I did this way too soon. Where's Tom when you need him? He's usually my oscillator. So did I say they've done a buffalo plaid project with the paint? No, but you have someone asking why it's called buffalo plaid. I have no idea why it's called buffalo plaid. That's a really good question. Somebody Google it and let us know. You have, it doesn't really have anything to do with oops, buffalo, sorry. does it? <laughs> uh, you have two people saying that the 
video isn't playing because Facebook is putting up a message saying it's having trouble. Is that everybody? Because I've only had two people say that. So Facebook isn't showing this. I worked a long time on this Buffalo plaid for Facebook to say I don't think so. <laughs> really, what's happening? Is anybody else having trouble? I only two people said it so far, but they said Facebook just has a message. People, and I'm sorry, but I don't know what we would have done to anger Facebook. <laughs> Cheryl says she can see us. And we're going to try it, realizing that that side may mess up. But we're going to try it. Okay, you have people saying they can see you and can. your buffalo okay. plaid. All right. Perfect. Okay. So we striped this direction. We're going to tape the other direction now. And again, I'm just going to eyeball it. And I can see that it's wet here. So chances of this working out right there are pretty slim. But I'm going to try it anyway. So, Kendra says because it was traded for buffalo hides. Oh, did she know that or did she Google it? Impressive either way. That's pretty cool to know. So it does have something to do with buffaloes. I guess it does. It does kind of, well, I guess it used to kind of seem cowboyish. Okay. So I'm not measuring. You can measure if you're feeling a little OCD. I'm just taping. And you could use wider tape, but this is what I had. And I'm just making sure I got my stripes kind of even. It's going to be funny when it pulls up that wet tape. I mean that wet paint. <laughs> just remember it was wet. Like we're not doing Thursday at 3. Your husband's standing at the door. I know. <laughs> oh. Um. Kim wanted to know, is our store here in Woodstock still selling inventory? I need to get a few things, just thought I would ask. The warehouse in Woodstock where we were is not, but we have paint at the market, which is on Bell's Ferry. I'm just going around over here to take. Okay. Which is on Bell's Ferry, and um, that is fully stocked and open Monday through Friday. Um, I, don't, I don't remember the hours, but they do have the paint. Amy is in charge of that, and she stays way stocked. So you should be able to get what you need there. Good question. Sorry, I know this is like, okay, we get it, we get it. But if you don't do the whole thing, then you don't get the whole picture. And almost done. That's looking relatively straight. How many of you is being, are like dying over this because I'm not measuring? There's some OCD people out there that I know are going. <laughs> You're almost done. Yeah, I'm almost done. We're going quick. We're going quick. Almost. I think it's kind of a forgiving thing. Okay, so we taped horizontally, we base cut it with cotton, taped horizontally, and did our half cotton, half driftwood mix. Then we're taping vertically, and we're doing our half cotton, half driftwood mix. That's what comes next. This killed me the first time I did it. Seems like you're painting over all it your... <laughs> Seems like I'm messing something up. So you Gretchen said, I love that you aren't measuring. And Kendra said, if she didn't measure, it would look like her three-year-old did it. Or a three-year-old. And, and it could look like that when I'm done. Thank you for not judging, Gretchen. <laughs> I just find that it's, it, I don't know. There are some things I measure, but you get so caught up in the measuring, then the project loses the fun. And the speed and the fast. And, the, and everybody's busy nowadays. And, and when you get something cute on the table... Like my plant over there on that one. Just don't notice. Okay. So I'm not worried too much about super duper coverage. Let me scoot this in. And keep on going. We needed a, um, we got an above ground pool, which I was kind of turning my nose up at because I'm like, oh, 
would be so fun. I mean, they're a million dollars, but to have an in-ground pool would be so fun. The only thing I don't like about it is getting in it, but Tom found one that is, what, 30 feet by 16 feet? That sucker's huge. I think it's 32 by 16, but yeah. Oh, 32 by 16. Okay, he wants to make sure you know how fat this no. is. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but we realized we need some kind of a little patio set out there when we need to sit in the shade with Teddy or whatever. And we're doing so much um, work on the school right now that we didn't have tons of money to throw around on a patio set. So when I saw these chairs and the table, because we're painting the school chairs like the one that the fan is sitting on and found one of the tables I'm like that's that's what we need to do and I think it really turned out cute I love it when you painted the plastic chairs did you do multiple coats I did two coats and then there were a couple places where I had to go back and be like oh that needs a little touch-up spot right there but I did two coats of, of each of the colors and are you loving life in a small town I am loving life in a small town I'm going to have to tell you, it is hilarious. There are things that we did not bank on, things that we did not plan for, things that we did not realize, things that we never knew, but all in all, it is fantabulous. Um, there are, like, we have to drive 30 minutes to get copy paper. That is a crazy change in my life. I am used to, I need that, let me go get it at Target. Um, just because things are so convenient, I lied, I'm going to touch up a little bit of this because it looked a little white in some spots. Um, <laughs> So there's a learning curve as far as what we can access and the planning we have to do on um, shopping and thinking ahead, that kind of thing. But other than, other than people are absolutely lovely nice. Lovely nice. I'm about to have to go stock Teddy up on formula again. Yeah, and see, that's not just a... That's another 30-minute drive to get it. Yeah, Walmart's <laughs> yeah. 30 minutes away. So, okay. Um, Diane said, I'm confused. Why are you painting over the squares you already painted? Because when you look at, and that's what confused me about it, when you look at buffalo plaid, um, I'm not going to make you walk back over there, wait till we unveil the whole thing, when you look at it, there is one square in it, which makes it different than a normal plaid, that's kind of translucent, one that's a little bit more color, and then a third that's a little bit more, you know, so you're painting over it to get heavier coverage on some of those squares, so that you have the light and the dark, which is kind of the signature mark of a buffalo plaid. Otherwise, you could just kind of pencil in, paint back and forth, different directions, and have a normal plaid. Buffalo plaid does that, does that thing. Okay, so now, they dry a few minutes more. I've been a bad videoer today. Oh, what do you I do? keep cutting off the top of your head. That's okay, there's nothing great about the top of my head. This last time, we're gonna tape again. Where did you, what are you doing with tape? Uh, is it on Most the chair behind me? Or not on the chair behind me? Right here. Oh, this time, we're gonna tape again. Not gonna tape this up. So we taped horizontal, painted. Base coat cotton, let me back up. Base coat cotton. Okay, wait. Mm-hmm. Right over here, I'll get. Sorry, you want me to go over here? Yeah, well that yeah. way there's not the, all those boxes in the background. Oh, it is the background's bad. Base coat and <laughs> cotton. Then we taped this direction and we painted half driftwood, half cotton. So we had a lighter gray color. Peeled up the tape after it was dry, put the tape down horizontally and painted with that same color, the driftwood and the cotton. We're gonna let this dry a little bit more if we can. And we are not taking the tape up this time. This time, we are taping right over where we had the tape the first time. You can see this is a lighter square. Can you kind of see from here, like from here to here? We want to. We want the tape where we had it that first time. So I'm gonna go here, and that would be the lighter spots. Uh huh. We're covering up that initial white square. And you want to kind of get this, this is the part where it kind of pays to be a tiny bit exact if you can. Ooh, this is going to be hilarious when we take the tape off. I don't even know if it's going to turn out. Yeah. If it doesn't turn out, just know it's because the paint's wet. Because this is it. As you can see, not even time to dry. I wouldn't wait, you know, if I was doing this and I wasn't doing a video, I wouldn't wait forever, but I certainly wouldn't do it this quick. Okay, so we got that one covered. Every time I peel off, I bend it. What do you mean? I, I bend it like that. This is something my hand is, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. Jamie said, this is so confusing to me. My ADD is all over the place. See, that's what I thought, but now I thought I was explaining it so well, Amy. I thought <laughs> I was really, really, 
Because that's why I've never done it before, because it always seems confusing to me. But we're like, horizontal stripe, base coat, horizontal stripe and paint. Vertical stripe and paint. Don't remove the tape, add the other tape. See, it's just so easy now. Is everybody getting in? Somebody Chris, tell me I'm making it super easy. Now they all of a sudden they get it. Kristen said she lives 45 minutes away from a grocery or anything else. Oh, that takes some planning right there. And if we don't plan, we got McDonald's and Popeyes. What do you got? What does she have if she does not plan? All right. Kendra said you are explaining it well, but the suspense to see it finished is killing her. That's why we wanted to totally finish this instead of do it. We'll finish that later. And it's killing me too because I figure what's going to happen is I did it too fast, the paint's not dry, and it's just going to be a huge mess and y'all are all going to laugh. I'll try and laugh with you, but it probably won't happen. I'll probably cry. So can you see where I'm putting the tape down for this last one? All right, one more row and we're ready to paint. The big expense is not the paint, it's the tape. <laughs> okay. At the risk of totally messing it up, I am gonna rub it down a little bit because I feel like otherwise it's gonna bleed really bad and it won't be a pretty flat. All right, are we ready for the final step? Stacy said, tell Laura I got my eye on her. <laughs> Stacy Bradford. <gasps> Okay, I'll just right. focus on all your tape. We should have an amazing buffalo plaid in just a moment. Okay, this is straight driftwood. Okay, you can help me like you did before. Oh, that's really nice. And you're gonna do the little open areas that aren't taped. And I just hit the brush here because I feel like I had a lot on my brush. So I was just kind of getting some off my brush before I did those squares down there. I'm getting excited. Is anybody else getting excited? I am. Yay, thank you, Katie. <laughs> I really hope it works. I really hope it works. It'd be so embarrassing if it doesn't. That'll be really funny. No, funny's not the word. We were going with embarrassing. All right, Katie, you be looking at the ones I've already done. Tell me if I got enough paint on them. How solid do you want them? They don't have to be super solid. Is everybody excited? You excited to see it? <laughs> You're all so quiet today. Actually, Marty said, can't wait to see this. Kendra said, in all caps, Laura, 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 I'm cheering you on. Yeah, please do. Let's all pause for a little moment of silence or prayer or whatever works in your life. Do you always work in nice clothes? Okay. These are these are actually <laughs> are about the nicest I have, which is super, super sad. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go with yes, because I know one of the rooms in the school I'm turning into a bedroom and then beside it, we're doing kind of like a closet sort of room. And I'm like, that is just the funniest thing ever because I have like three pairs of black pants and three black shirts. That's my wardrobe. Because black is so slimming and you Do don't notice that I'm square a little bit more. 700 pounds overweight, which one? Yeah, that one. Um, okay. Do you thin the paint? No, I didn't thin any of it. I did for the, we did cotton for the base. And then for this, the second two stripies, I did cotton and driftwood mix half and half, but I did not thin anything. Okay, here we're gonna go for it. All right, are you ready to peel it up? Which, you put the long ones on last, right? Yep. So you have to peel those first. Now, I did have a panic attack the first time I did this. That paint is peeling up from the tape, not from the table. <laughs> so, so far, no huge reason to panic. I feel like I need some kind of drum roll. Will you take that off again for me? Yeah, let me get this peeled up here.
Ooh, Patty said she wants to do this with Farmhouse Navy. Oh, that'd be pretty. That'll be cool. I asked you what color you did. You didn't say. Oh, Farmhouse Navy one. Well, because you did blues on the other table, so I figured a different color family was. So, so far, Katie would throw that down on that side. Yeah. So far, it looks pretty stupid, huh? <laughs> if I had not done this one other time, I would be in tears right now. But I still have hope. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Look how cute. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And you have to remember, we just, you saw me just paint this on here. This is some paint sticking to some crazy surfaces. This is a crazy laminate desk. Isn't this so cute? It even stuck on the there. spot where you put the tape on the wet paint. On the wet paint? Yeah, yeah. didn't do too bad. How many people are giving me hearts? Oh, Come you're on. getting quite a lot of hearts. Don't All worry. Right. Is that not the cutest ever? Ah, I love it. We did it, Katie. We did it. <laughs> so, base coat everything in cotton. Then we put tape on horizontally. And we did half driftwood, half cotton. And made those stripes. Took the tape off. Taped vertically, half driftwood, half cotton. See, this is how simple it is. You can just tell them. Left the tape on added the tape the same place it was the very first time and did our darker just driftwood and we have buffalo pie look how cute that is super cute super super cute somebody better try it and send me a picture <laughs> and we did it with wet paint on a slicker 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 surface than most of you are ever going to use it on super super cute the only thing i will tell you is you can look here and decide let me sit and point and decide i guess i can turn the fan on here right Decide what works for you, what you want. So I'm going to show you some of my mistakes or what you might think are mistakes. I don't really care because I think it looks cute. When we did <coughs> the um, second coat of our gray, this was our first horizontal stripe of gray. And I did two coats. When we did our vertical, I only did one. You might want two. So see how there's some of the cotton showing through? I don't care. It doesn't bother me. So that's one thing to watch for. The second thing to watch for is when you put your tape back on, when you're putting it over where those white stripes are, if you're like right here in this little section, I totally nailed it. I got it exactly where it's supposed to be. <laughs> right here, I totally didn't. See how that is a little bit off? Again, I don't care, but see if you don't put it on that last spot, If you don't, when you've got your tape, your one tape already on and you're putting your other on, do you just want to make sure you totally are in the exact same lines where you had your white to begin with? And you can see that when you're doing it. You probably couldn't on the video, but when I'm doing it, I can see it. So those are the only things to kind of watch for. But also but when you stand back and it's not it's super awesome. bad. Yeah. It's totally awesome. We did buffalo plaid on a really slick surface with wet paint. Woohoo! That's how, you how great the paint is. Do we have any <laughs> questions before we go? Like, how did we get such wonderful paint? How am I <laughs> such a master at showing what I'm doing? How did I make buffalo plaid seem so easy and accessible to all that are watching? Any questions? Carrie said, I have barn door and cotton now just to find something to buffalo plaid on. Woohoo! Um, are you going to distress it at all? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could. It's metal. What I, what I painted on is metal. And I guess I could. It's laminate metal. And I guess I could distress it. Um, I probably would try it if I was doing wood, but on the metal. And especially not right now, because right now if I took a sander to it, it really would come off. Because it's so, I mean, it's still, I can still see it wet in places and it's mm -hmm. still a little sticky. But it's fabulous. Any other questions? That was a good question. Um, Marty said when it's a little bit off like that, it just looks more like the fabric. Right? And handmade. And everyone loves handmade. <laughs> but those are all the questions Thank I see. Thank you so much for joining us. We are super excited to show you what we've got going um, in the rest of the building and some of the changes we're making. Um, I will post um, on the main page and on the Q&A page. I'm going to post some pictures. We are um, testing the floor paint. And I have a fabulous before and after. Um, yeah. Um, do you, are you going to tough top it? Am I going to tough it? No, well, that depends. No, probably not. The resin paint is just, once it cures, it's going to be phenomenal. If I was going to keep this inside and use it, the tough top, okay, this is going to start a whole new thread of questions. What we <laughs> have discovered, what Tom has explained. Hey, Emma, how was your day? What do you have? Oh, yay. So if, <laughs> if you're going to do it, if you're going to keep the piece outside, don't tough top. The resin paint is actually stronger. 
The reason to tough top on something inside, because I was like, well, then why would we sell tough top if the resin? Because if you're doing something inside, it gives it a surface that makes it so much easier to clean and to scrub. So if you're doing cabinets, you do want it on there because you can clean and scrub your cabinets, that kind of thing. But once this cures, um, I did a video this morning before I started the round table there because I had painted something on it last week. Um, and I'll get that video up so you can see that as well. I used prep and I couldn't get it off. Then I used a razor blade. Remember me scraping with yeah. the razor blade? And I was picking at it with the razor blade, couldn't get it off. I finally got my sander out with 80 grit sandpaper and um, really pushed, used the edge of the sander where I could get the most pressure and finally got it off so I could do the table with the buffalo plaid. You're not gonna do that to your furniture, normal wear and tear, I would assume. <laughs> um, the paint sticks, it just is crazy how it sticks. So just let it cure. If you're having an issue with sticking, it's curing um, and just give it a little longer to cure, so. Would you do half cotton and half navy? If you were using like a farmhouse That'd be navy? That'd beautiful. I think using, cause Katie was like, ooh, I'm making you sound bad, but I'm just teasing. They do great, so you're going to do great. So they need to buy cotton. They need to buy driftwood. They need to buy gray mist. They need to buy slate. Well, I was thinking I, I different know, I'm teasing, gray I'm colors. Like, if I was a good salesperson, that's exactly what I would have done. What I find I like better is instead of pulling in a bunch of different colors, I like to tone down the gray with the cotton. Love you, hon. Because then they're all in the same family. It's just It just keeps that color family. You don't accidentally put together a warm and a cool that when you stand back you don't like or whatever. So if I'm using it, I'm going to do, I'm going to pick my darker gray. This is the darkest tone I want on here. And then I'm going to cut it with cotton or cloud or whatever my base coat is. So it just blends really nicely. Any other questions? Not that I see. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this turned out so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sure it was going to be a flop and it's fun. So get something and do a buffalo plaid. It's super, super fun, and you'll feel so happy when you see how happy I am. It's, yes. What color is your countertop behind you? The counter behind the my desk. desk. Um, do you see I have my logo on my desk? And do you see I have LED lights on my desk? And <laughs> in between the LED lights, and back behind the LED lights, there's actually glitter. So at night, it looks really pretty. Um, the desk is driftwood and um, cotton. So I like driftwood. That's the same color that we used right here. Um, on this one is driftwood. So thank you so much for joining it. Truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Happy rethunking.